Welcome back to MapMind. In today's video, we'll be looking at a question from Japan that involves a free radical equation. I personally find this question to be very interesting and I hope you like it. Let's go ahead and get started. In the following question, we are given x equal to the sum of the cube root of 25, 20, and 16. In turn, we are going to find the difference between x and 1 over x square. Let's go ahead and take a look at these three numbers, 25, 20, and 16. We can write 25 as 5 square, and we can write 16 as 4 square. So in the middle, 20, we can conveniently write this as 5 times 4. Let's go ahead and make use of this relationship. I'm going to rewrite this equation using the new information. So now what I have is x is equal to cube root of 5 square plus cube root of 5 multiplied by cube root of 4 plus cube root of 4 square. From here, we will try to use the substitution of letting a equals to cube root of 5 and b equals to cube root of 4. If we do that, then our x will become x is equal to a square plus ab plus b square. So how do we make use of this? For the next step, we are going to make use of the formula for the difference between two cubes. If you remember, the difference of the two cubes can be stated as a cubed minus b cubed is equivalent to a minus b multiplied by a square plus ab plus b square. And that's what exactly that's exactly what I have for our value of x. So let's go ahead and do our substitution. What I have now is a cubed minus b cubed is equivalent to cube root of 5 cubed minus the cube root of 4 cubed. And that's equivalent to the cube root of 5 minus the cube root of 4 multiplied by x. Let's simplify what we have here. Cube root and cube will cancel each other. So on the left hand side, what I have now is 5 minus 4 is equal to the difference of the cube root of 5 minus cube root of 4 multiplied by x. In other words, our x is actually equal to 1 over cube root of 5 minus cube root of 4. So, I can also say that 1 over x is equal to cube root of 5 minus cube root of 4. We are now ready to solve the question. I have 1 over x square is equal to cube root of 5 minus cube root of 4 square. This in turn is equal to the cube root of 5 square minus 2 times cube root of 5 cube root of 4 plus cube root of 4 square. Let me go ahead and clear out this mistake right here. Keep in mind, in the original question, we were told to look for x minus 1 over x squared. So let's put in the values. I have x equal to cube root of 5 plus cube root of 5 cube root of 4 plus cube root of 4 square. I'm sorry, there should be a square here. So minus 
1 over x squared, so we are going to minus cube root of 5 squared minus 2 times cube root of 5 times cube root of 4 plus cube root of 4 squared. If we work out the difference between the two, we will end up with cube root of 5 multiplied by cube root of 4 plus 2 cube root of 5 cube root of 4 which works out to be 3 times cube root of 20 and that's the answer to our question. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. God bless.